Hola, and welcome to Pro Spanish. One of the things that makes the biggest difference to how quickly you can learn Spanish or any language is how well the course or your teacher sequences the language that's introduced and practiced. And when this is done well, you're able to access a wide range of practical conversational Spanish in an almost effortless way. And this is something you're about to experience yourself. Our more advanced subscribers may want to skip forward to the time frame that comes up on the screen now or stick with us for the extra practice. A good sequence should make an easy transition from something that you already know to the new target language. And if you're a complete beginner, that's fine as well. We start with language that's very intuitive. So let's start off with some phrases with some verbs in them. Practicar español. Practicar español. Very straightforward. To practice Spanish. Even if this is your very first Spanish lesson, this phrase will not cause any difficulties. Practicar español. To practice Spanish. Hablar español. Hablar español. To speak Spanish. We can remember hablar because it's blah, blah, ah, blah, blah. So to speak Spanish, hablar español. Next we have to go to Madrid. Ir a Madrid. Ir a Madrid. To go to Madrid. Ir a Madrid. Now there's no memorization with this system. Just follow my instructions. You don't need to try to retain the information. It will just happen. So ir a Madrid to go to Madrid. Ir a casa is to go home. It's like going to house. Casa is house. So ir a Madrid to go to Madrid. Ir a casa to go home. Entrar, entrar is like to enter, and we'd probably say to go in, to go in somewhere, to go in wherever it is. Entrar, go in. Salir is the opposite, it's to sally forth, to go out. So salir, where we get sally forth. And salir is to go out. Okay, let's add some more information. It's often very useful to learn a pair of words. So, conmigo and contigo. Conmigo, contigo, with me, with you. Conmigo, contigo, with me, with you. So, conmigo, contigo, with me, with you. And a nice easy one, mañana, tomorrow, mañana. So just looking at these two columns, how could we say to practice Spanish with me? What would that be, to practice Spanish with me? Practicar español conmigo. Practicar español conmigo. To practice Spanish with me. What would it mean if I said this? Salir mañana. Salir mañana. That would just mean to go out tomorrow. To go out tomorrow. Okay, let's add in the start of our conversational sentences. And we're going to do these in pairs as well. And remember, don't try to memorize this. So our first pair is quiero and quieres. Quiero, quieres. And quiero is I want. And quieres 
actually we'll just add a question mark at the beginning to show us that this is going to be a question do you want so quiero i want quieres do you want so you can see just the last two letters are different i want quiero you want or do you want quieres okay down to the next two and again this is going to be an i and a u puedo i can puedes the question can you so puedo puedes i can you can or can you and down to the final pair voy a i'm going to and vas a you're going to or the question are you going to so voy a i'm going to vas a are you going to so we have a lot of new information here and i keep repeating it but you don't need to try to retain this now just listen and follow across and try to work out what's being said quiero practicar español contigo quiero practicar español contigo i want to practice spanish with you try this one quieres hablar español conmigo quieres hablar español conmigo do you want to speak spanish with me in the uk we might say speak spanish to me but it works out as with me do you want to speak spanish with me how about this one voy a ir a casa mañana voy a ir a casa mañana I'm going to go home tomorrow. How about this one? Vas a ir a Madrid mañana? Vas a ir a Madrid mañana? Are you going to go to Madrid tomorrow? What do you think this one is? ¿Quieres salir conmigo? ¿Quieres salir conmigo? Do you want to go out with me? Do you want to go out with me? And of course, we've got mañana in this column, but it could come after. It could come at the end of this sentence. So we could say, ¿Quieres salir conmigo mañana? Do you want to go out with me tomorrow? What would this be? ¿Puedes practicar español conmigo? ¿Puedes practicar español conmigo? Can you practice Spanish with me? Can you practice Spanish with me? And let's shorten it and leave out a word. What would this be? ¿Puedes practicar conmigo? ¿Puedes practicar conmigo? Can you practice with me? And we'll just take a pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core levels one to six is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. 
And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Okay, let's swap over now and I'll give the English and you use the table to give the Spanish version. And if you're completely new to Pro Spanish, make sure that you pause the video to give yourself some thinking time. I leave a pause, but that might not be sufficient, especially if you're a complete beginner. I want to speak Spanish with you. Quiero hablar español contigo. Quiero hablar español contigo. Do you want to go to Madrid with me? ¿Quieres ir a Madrid conmigo? ¿Quieres ir a Madrid conmigo? How about Can you go in or can you enter? Can you go in with me? ¿Puedes entrar conmigo? ¿Puedes entrar conmigo? Now, if we want to say a negative, I don't want, or I can't, or I'm not going to, we simply add no at the beginning. No quiero, I don't want. No puedo, I can't. No voy a, I'm not going to. How would we say, I can't go out with you? I can't go out with you. What would that be? No puedo salir contigo. No puedo salir contigo. How about I don't want to go home tomorrow. No quiero ir a casa mañana. No quiero ir a casa mañana. How about, I'm not going to speak with you, or I'm not going to speak to you. What would that be? No voy a hablar contigo. No voy a hablar contigo. How about, I don't want to speak to you or with you. No quiero hablar contigo. No quiero hablar contigo. Okay, let's try a long one. How would you say, so this is going to be put in two together. I can't go out with you tomorrow. I'm going to go to Madrid. I can't go out with you tomorrow. I'm going to go to Madrid. What would that be? No puedo salir contigo mañana. Voy a ir a Madrid. Again. No puedo salir contigo mañana. Voy a ir a Madrid. So you can see just how much you can learn in such a short time with the right kind of sequencing and the right kind of techniques. So just before we go on to the more advanced part of this lesson, a reminder again, the full levels one to six course, where everything is sequenced and progressively takes you up to a conversational level of Spanish, is available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Y ahora la parte más avanzada. Vamos a empezar con unos, so some verbs with the past participle. 
Llegado a tiempo. Arrived on time or in time. It can be both. Llegado a tiempo. Terminado antes. Terminado antes. Finished earlier. Finished before, but we would say finished earlier. Hecho eso antes. Hecho eso antes. Done that earlier. Done that earlier. Dicho eso desde el principio. Dicho eso desde el principio. Said that from the beginning. Desde, from. Or we might say, said that in the first place. Bien. Ahora la primera parte. Vamos a empezar simplemente con si, if. And, ojalá. Ojalá. Y es interesante notar esa influencia árabe en la pronunciación. Ojalá. Bien, ojalá, if only, if only. También puede ser, I wish that. So it can also serve as a phrase like, I wish that, or if only. And now, if we're going to say, if I had arrived on time, if I had, or if they had done something, or if only they had, para eso necesitamos el subjuntivo imperfecto. Entonces, normalmente sería había. So, if somebody had done something, let's say we were saying they had arrived, habían llegado a tiempo. Uh, they had finished earlier. Habían terminado antes. Pero después de sí, después de ojalá, hay que usar el subjuntivo imperfecto. So we need to use the imperfect subjunctive here after if or ojalá. So we'll have hubieras, you had, and hubieran, they had. Vale, vamos a practicar. ¿Cómo se dice? If you had finished earlier, ¿qué sería? Si hubieras terminado antes, si hubieras terminado antes, ¿y cómo sería? If only they had arrived on time. Ojalá hubieran llegado a tiempo. Ojalá hubieran llegado a tiempo. How about, I wish you had done that earlier, or if only you had done that earlier. Ojalá hubieras hecho eso antes. Ojalá hubieras hecho eso antes. ¿Y cómo sería? If they had said that in the first place, si hubieran dicho eso desde el principio, si hubieran dicho eso desde el principio, How about swapping this around a little bit? If only you had done that in the first place. Ojalá 
hubieras hecho eso desde el principio. Ojalá hubieras hecho eso desde el principio. ¿Y cómo sería? If they had finished earlier, si hubieran terminado antes, si hubieran terminado antes, and that concludes today's pro-Spanish lesson. As mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk.